Um, today I want to talk about um, technology and education. So we have, like, just in the last five years, there's been like these great developments in pretty every aspect that has to do with electronics. Uh, so with cell phones, I mean, just cell phones alone. Just think about that for a second. Uh, we now have like an increasing just, I don't know, the, the fact that we can do video chat, you know, that's that's huge. That's a big deal. That's like something out of the Jetsons, except like we passed it. Like in the Jetsons, you had to sit in a chair in order to talk to people, you know, uh, through that video chat. Uh, and, you know, we had that a little bit with, you know, the computer a while ago, and then now we just have the phone or iPad, iPhone, whatever, and do that from anywhere we can, we can have an internet connection. Uh, the internet, the fact that you can, that is becoming increasingly more accessible through any device, a computer, netbook, laptop, whatever, uh, your phones now, uh, you can get it in airplanes, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, that's, I don't know, that's awesome. Because the internet, that's, that's the big thing. Just in the last five years, it's really... It's like maturing like constantly, you know, it just keeps growing. Uh, so there's more and more information being put on there, and it's becoming more and more accessible. So that's that's a huge deal, you know. I mean, you know, it used to take a long time to get information across to someone. Uh, it used to be back in the days where there were, you know, monks would have to write down by hand to make a copy of a book. And then we had the print press, and that got information out quicker, and newspapers and things like that, you know information on, you know, the day before it happened, or the day it happened, I mean, uh, or like the next day, anyways, uh, and now the internet just, you know, boom, it's like on Twitter, you get news when it happens, I mean, the thing in, uh, the riots that were happening, you know, the little, the, you know, well, not the little, <laughs> the, 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 the revolution that happened in, in Egypt, you know, that was from Twitter, you know, that's where people, that's how the word got out, uh, some political scandals are being broken through Twitter. Uh, there's just some big stuff going on on the internet as far as news and education. Uh, in YouTube, YouTube right now, you're the where you are watching this video most likely. Uh, sure, there's a lot of bad stuff, right? There's a lot of just time-wasting videos like the cats and the babies and the pandas and you know the the girls giving makeup tips and <laughs> all that stuff. Uh, on the on the opposite side of that, we have uh, this like wealth of educational uh, discussion. There's a discussion of economics. Uh, for example, the the Mises the Mises Institute or Mises it's Mises Mises Institute. I'll put a link to them. They're pretty cool. Uh, there's a uh, just, I don't know, whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to list a bunch of examples, but it's just, there's, pick whatever subject, and you will find something that will help you out. Uh, on YouTube, on Wikipedia, or anything else online. Uh, schools online now, you know, there's, there's a, you know, you could get a college degree online. There's just, I don't know, it's just crazy, like, how fast things are moving towards the internet. Or information towards us, you know. Uh, it's easy to have to just get information. That's a big deal. That's like a really big deal, the more you think about it. So anyways, that's I guess that's the question I'm gonna leave on you guys. Just like, think about how much information has affected your lives. Uh, how would how would you feel if just for one week, just one, or one day, uh, you had no access to internet? How would that affect you, you know? So I guess that's the question I'm gonna leave you guys with right now.